Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to modify this axe. I wasn't going to film this but quite a few guys after the original video asked if I could show what I'm going to do to it. Well, I'm not going to do a hell of a lot to be honest with you. I'm going to put a nice shiny edge on it because that's particularly ugly. and particularly blunt. I'm also going to take a little bit off here, a little bit off there and thin the handle down. Now I'm going to do it the quick way, I'm going to do it on the sander because at the end of the day if I did it by hand it would take forever. One more thing, I'm going to take a bit off here so I'm going to make that more of a curve so less chance of your hand coming off when you're chopping so a little bit's going to come off there well I'm going to do the handle first before I do the blade let's get to it now before I start I'll just explain one thing to you I'm going to do this on the curve of my uh, belt sander which that curve is invaluable for me because that's what I shape my handles on get the first rough shape on with that I've got my mask because it's going to get dusty look I am your father Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Very easy. Obviously, I've got to go through a few grit snow by hand to round it off, but that's an improvement. Now here, I've got to be careful because after a lot of use, if this head decides to go slack, I need to knock this back up. So I can't go flat here. I'm going to have to leave a quarter of an inch or perhaps a, cent yeah, a centimetre so that can go up and be tight.
Well, the handle's more or less done. I think at the end what I'll do, I'll get a Stanley blade and if I find any ridges, I'll just scrape them off. But I'm just realising now how rough the finish on the axe was when I originally had it. As I said earlier, I used a worn 120 to finish, which is probably more like a 380 now, perhaps even a 4, and that's nice and smooth. It was considerably rougher before. So I'm pleased the handle now to the head. You may have noticed earlier that I'd taken my plate and a bit difficult to film in my shed because it's so small. But I took the plate and off my knife maker's grinder and I'm going to leave it off because I want a convex edge on it. I got some water every couple of grinds. I'll dip it to keep it cool. You can do this with a file and wet and dry on a stone but this is the quick way. And this is how I'm going to do it. Plan is, I'm going to go through the grits. I'm going to start at a 40 to get the nasty scratches off. And I'm going to go all the way down to a worn 600. That's a 40 grit. Now unfortunately, I can't get rid of that. That is one crap bit of grinding, fair play. On to the 60. Now that's a 120 and it's getting nice now. Four hundred onto the six, then the worn six, and then on to the polishing wheel. <laughs> well, it's pretty. Let's hope it's still rubble. And if you're wondering why I bothered to put that on the strop, really speaking, it was just to clean the polish and paste off. Well, I think it's sharp. It's sharp. Now, there's some school of thoughts and this is fine just put an edge on an axe with a file use hell out of it put another rough edge back on with a file well I'm sorry I'm one fussy bastard and I like a mirror polish on things when I use it if it chips so be it I'll grind it back again but that just pleases me so I don't particularly care if you think that's complete overkill, I think it's great. As Ramia says, if you can't do that, it's no good. He's talking through his ass, mate, but.
that is sharp. Right then, or oh, one thing as well I did, I took the corners off that because they were a bit rough. Still a little bit rough. Last thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to get a Stanley knife and I'm just going to take any little ridges off here and then I'm going to oil it. If I had a cabinet scraper, I'd use that, but there's nothing wrong with the Stanley blade, just don't slip. Now this is just teak oil. Unfortunately, I've run out of linseed oil and I can't go and buy any because everything's shut. So I'll have to make do with this. But there's bugger all wrong with it anyway. You may notice I haven't made a mask because there's not a lot wrong with this. Well that's all I gotta do now is take a photo of it for the thumbnail. Well thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll try and cut it so it's not too boring. Because let's face it, watching some guy grinding an axe isn't the most exciting thing in the world. Well, thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. I love the smell of that oil because it just makes me think I've finished. <laughs> now this is just teak oil. Unfortunately, I've run out of linseed oil and I can't go and buy any because everything's shut. So I'll have to make do with this. But there's bugger all wrong with it anyway. People make too much of a fuss. Oh, you gotta have buy linseed oil. Oil. It's for wood. There's sort of all wrong with it. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll try and cut it so it's not too boring. Because let's face it, watching some guy grinding an axe isn't the most exciting thing in the world. Well, I hope you learned something. Or if if you know of a better way, let me know. Don't be a smart ass. I have mentioned before, nobody likes a smart ass. Well, thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. I'm looking down the camera, my battery is now dying. I'm still talking. Anything else I want to say? God, I hope it don't chip after all that work. <laughs>